Well, last night here, here's Buffalo Bills. Just in case you've ever been here to Buffalo Bills and gone on that roller coaster there, it only runs, that's Prim. Prim and Buffalo Bills are like ghost towns. During the week, there's nobody, nobody. Look at all that parking, nothing. There's just the hardcore, crazy-ass gamblers there. There's a few that take a shuttle bus from Whiskey Peach during the week and go over here to Denny's. But they've got slots. You got to go around back, though. The uh, roller coaster only runs on weekends, and the sh and the shuttle that goes across the uh, over the freeway only weekends. So this whole thing, this whole Buffalo Bills wild whatever and these giant towers and all that, nothing. It just sits. And then they use it on weekends for overflow because apparently Vegas is taking the hell out. Look at that house. I never saw that house before. It's a friggin' house. What the hell is it doing there? There's a few of them. Huh. I'm just going out to this uh, power plant. This is one of the two. This is the Nevada uh, Nevada Energy. Uh, this is their solar power, which is like a not even a quarter of the size of the uh, California one. See, there's Vegas off there glowing. Just got back from a friend, Aces, or Cry Goats. And, uh, Nice house. Nice house. It overlooks. See, I always thought he lived in the valley like everybody else. Yeah. He lives up in Henderson, but it's on the hill, so he can overlook the entire Las Vegas Valley. That I would do. He paid 300 and I think three, 380000 that's a little high for me, but it's a pretty nice house, two stories, got enough to have a little uh, man cave. He's got actually two man caves, one downstairs and one upstairs. And one upstairs has got a full drum set, marshals, base cabinets, and downstairs is all the recording. And we, we just half-assed it, and I plugged into his... Uh, desktop uh, through a pod sounded like crap but we both uh, just dicked around on my uh, Eddie Van Halen which the, the neck is all jacked up because I've been I have it in my room where I'm staying and I have the air conditioner on high all night so it gets down to like in the 50s and then in the day it's like today it's humid and 77 <laughs> Neck was not happy, but you know, we flipped around on the guitar and you, You'll see the video that'll be video what two of Day four or three Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday. Yeah. Day three video two. And this will be video three. I'll make one more. I'll play Just by myself with my little black star amp in the room and that will be it, and then tomorrow will be day four. And I'll shoot a couple videos. Hopefully I'll get a little more rain. You can see the clouds moving in. There's clouds, and I and I got a couple drops on my head because I've had my uh my this open. I mean if you got a sunroof, use it at all times. That's what I see. But here is it just looked neat from the distance. And now when I'm here, it doesn't look so neat. <laughs> it looks kind of boring. I wanted to see if it looked as cool up close. In the daytime, it's pretty interesting. But this is the uh, solar power for Nevada. Right on the state line. Because they, uh, you know, they're doing the same. I mean, the California one is huge. It looks crazy. I did a video of it. You saw it. I'm going to try to do it tomorrow. Hopefully I get a good shot of it. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do tomorrow. There that is. You know what it reminds me of? 
Soylent Green, the Soylent Green factory. So what they're doing with all the homeless people and the people that owe money in Vegas, they take them here and make them into Soylent friggin' Green. And Charlton Heston is not here to save them. Bighorn Power Station. Bighorn, huh? You know, that's weird, Bighorn. You know the little horn? You know who the little horn is? Satan. All right, there you go. There's a Bighorn Power Station. Now we'll go back to Prim Valley Resort and Spaz. It looks like it's a big deal, doesn't it? It's like, wow, that's nice. There's a roller coaster and three big hotels and giant towers and and all they got is like a couple hundred rooms available each. Soylent Green is people! <laughs> so here I go down in the Prim Valley. I, you know, actually I've had a good time. I've talked to a bunch of people there. Hell, this is, this is actually better than uh, Gold Strike. It's cheaper, number one. Number two, rooms are nicer because they're newer. And three, there's a lot more to do. I mean, it's all shut down, but you can still go there. Like Prim, all the white lights, that's open. There's stuff there. I haven't gambled yet. Uh, I've got my one dollar I'm gonna put in tonight when I go get my dinner at three in the morning. But uh, apparently this is actually is booked starting tomorrow. Tomorrow night and Saturday night, everything here is sold out already. That doesn't mean it'll be all because, like I said, the tower at Whiskey Pete's, no one stays in. Most of the towers at Prim, no one stays in. Those two, the big towers at Buffalo Bill, no one stays in. They stay in the bottom two floors or, yeah, two or three floors. That's it. I guess because the remodeling. I mean, Terrible Herbst bought out the uh, Gene uh, or Gold Strike, so they're slowly redoing that. But there's always people there, and there's always people here. And everything is jacked up. I mean, what did I have? I had two pancakes, two sausage, scrambled eggs, $15. Glass of milk, $4. So tonight I'm gonna have five pancakes and two sausage. And that's it, and a glass of milk. So that'll still be a bunch of money. But, oh, friggin' pancakes are, oh, I love them, oh my gosh. I'll cut out the eggs, but I gotta have the pork sausage. Oh my gosh, great. So there you go, there's the backside of uh, Buffalo. That's, there's the bus. See, these buses ship in people all the flipping time, tourists. They go on these Vegas things and then they'll come here and they'll stay for a while. It's midnight. So, I don't know if they're staying here or what, but there's a lot of Oriental people. Yeah, I know, but I'm not politically correct, so screw you. They're Oriental, like rugs. And uh, there you go. So it's been a very, well, it's been a cool day. Me and Ace talked a lot about the old times, and some of it brought back like really weird memories. I mean, he still likes it and stuff. I do it because I make money on Facebook, you know, and YouTube and all that. All those videos. The end for me is money. For him, he still goes to clubs. Everybody is moved out here. If they were in a band, at least one or two members live in Vegas. Like my old shitty ass stupid singer that doesn't have a voice anymore, Mandy. That could have been huge if he would have stuck with me. He lives out here, shows up, squeaks out something every once in a while. He's French, by the way. 
Mandy Leon, so next time he tries to tell you he's German, he's full of crap. And he likes to kill Mastiffs. And here's where I'm staying. We should keep Pete's. And this is the lone uh, friggin' homeless guy that just tr goes back and forth between <laughs> one homeless guy. That's not a bad place. But, uh, so there you go. There's some guy right on my ass. He's so anxious to get where? Just get off my butt before I knock your vagina in. Alright, so I'm gonna cruise through here and park somewhere. There he goes. Boy, you gotta get to what? Starbucks? You're gonna get gas? You ass. What a dick. Okay, so here I'm back. Back to my home in Prim. Last night. Let's see, I don't trust that. These, these cars that I don't know. What are they saying? Oh, shut up. You don't know what's going to happen, dickhead. It, I better get rain. I swear. We'll get some here, but... Alright. Alright, later. See you inside.